Hello, I'm Neil. Welcome to Grandpa's Workshop. As always, big thank you to all my subscribers. And in this video, I'm making a candle holder. My wife's asked me if I can make it on our dining table when we eat our Christmas dinner. We've got these leftover large tea lights from when we did pumpkin carving with our grandson. So, I've got a piece of scrap wood. I think it used to be a fence post. So I'm going to make this candle holder. But before I get into it, I'd like to give a big thank you to Grandpa's Workshop for giving me a shout out on his channel. If you haven't seen Grandpa's Workshop, I'll put a link in the description. Go and check him out. Like and subscribe if you like what you see. So let's get into the video. I've got a piece of wood mounted in the lathe and all I'm going to do is turn it round. I'm going to turn this end round first so I can mount it in the chuck and then I'll finish turning the whole thing round. I've got it turned round, so next I'm going to add some shape to it.
I'm going to drill a hole in the top now to accept one of these large tea lights. Once I've done that, I can finish shaping it, sand it. The forcing bit I've used is 54mm and this is the largest one I've got and it's just not quite big enough for this candle to sit in so I'm going to have to remove a little bit of material with a carbide tip. got a shape I'm happy with so now I'm going to start sanding and I'll weight my way up to about 320 grit Now I've finished sanding, I'm going to apply some headstrong abrasive paste and try and polish it up a bit.
Well, I've got to apologise because I've parted the candle holder from the scrap, but I forgot to turn the camera on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to sand the base. I'm not going to do anything inside where the candle goes, simply because once the candle's in, you don't see it. Right guys, this is the uh, candle holder completed. It's not perfect. There's a couple of little chips in the wood there that I couldn't quite get sanded out. There's a couple of bits where it feels slightly rough, which I couldn't get to go smooth. But this is reclaimed pine. And I've been told it's a bit more awkward to work with when it comes to getting it smooth. But I'm not an expert at this. I've only been wood turning through little over a year. I can highly recommend it though. If you get a chance to give it a go, have a go. I really enjoy it. But well, back to this. Candle fits nice and snug. It's quite stable. This will not be left on the table unattended. This is just going to be a centrepiece for the table while we have our Christmas dinner. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.